Day one was fun. Day two, also really good. Let's talk about it. Hey, what's going on? I'm Matt O'Leary, back with another video, and today I'll be talking about Joe Douglas's moves, like signing a couple of guys for the defense. The secondary got some love today. Before we get started, I just wanted to mention that you can follow me on social media at Matt O'Leary and why. If you haven't already, please make sure to check out the Just Jets podcast. New episodes come out every Monday, and there's the Clips channel, which you could subscribe to. All that's in the description below. Also, don't forget Patreon. Five bucks a month gets you bonus New York Jets content. I have updated player cards for every single free agent that Joe Douglas has signed so far, including the ones from today, DJ Raid and Jordan Whitehead. So we're going to get into it right now. Big time signings from Joe Douglas on day two. The first, DJ Reed, three years, $33 million. He's a 25-year-old corner. He spent time with Robert Sala in 2018 and 2019 in San Francisco, and he spent the last two years in Seattle, and he's established himself as, well, a steady starting outside corner. This is a really good addition at a reasonable price, and the guy's young still. He's 25 years old. Common theme we're talking about with these free agents. They're not, most of them at least, aren't ancient, and they're signing for you know, two to three years, not anything crazy. Love it. Uh, and like I said, he was steady last year in Seattle. He only allowed 383 receiving yards and two touchdowns allowed, a 51.5 reception percentage, a 66 passer rating against, and he's a good tackler in the run game. He could come down and people are going to say, well, he's only 5'9". Well, if you watched him play, he's a little bit more physical than what his size might say that he is. And I think that stuff's a little bit overrated. Uh, especially with cornerbacks. We see you know, all different kinds of shapes and sizes at the cornerback position play well, and that's exactly what Reed is. He's going to bring a professionalism to this cornerback room that's really young, that already has Bryce Hall, Brandon Eccles, and Michael Carter II. DJ Reed, to me, I think is going to be a definite as the starter as well as Bryce Hall. I know that some are saying that Brandon Eccles and Bryce Hall are going to compete for the other starting job. I don't buy that personally. I think Hall's been the better of the bunch. And uh, while you know there's rumors that the Jets are quote unquote down on Bryce Hall, I, I don't buy it, to be honest with you. I think he's going to be the one starting opposite of Reed. And I guess technically it doesn't take them out of the conversation for Sauce Gardner in the first round. But I think what we learned today is more than likely, unless something changes here again, is everything's developing. These things can change on the fly. But right now, my gut feeling is that the first round is going to be edge pass rusher at the top and then a wide receiver at 10. Now, we've heard that there's definitely, you know, they could still take an offensive lineman at four. We heard that corner still in play, but I don't know. To me, if you just read the tea leaves a little bit, it very much so feels like it's leaning towards an edge rusher at four, whether it's KT, whether it's Jermaine Johnson, whoever at four. Um, we we know that Aiden Hutchinson is not going to be there. He's going to be the number one pick, I think, at this point. But um, moral of the story, DJ Reed. Good signing from Joe Douglas. Was surprised. Didn't really hear the Jets linked to him, but pleasantly surprised with that signing. Now, as for the second one, Jordan Whitehead. Like it a lot. So Marcus Williams signed earlier in the day, and there was some panic because there's only $70 million over five years, which is $14 million AAV. And everyone looks and says, that's a great deal, which I agree it is. But he went to Baltimore. I don't think he is accepting that contract from the New York Jets. Why? Well, they haven't established that winning culture yet. It matters. The, the I know the Ravens didn't make the playoffs last year, but they're a good team. They are considered a contender in the AFC with Lamar Jackson coming back and being healthy. They are absolutely going to be in the fight for the top of that division and be a playoff spot. So, like, I get it. He took a little bit of under market value to go to a, a good a good you know place for where he can win. As for Jordan Whitehead, I really like the value here. Two year deal. $14.5 million, so 725 AAV. And he too is just 25 years old. Actually, technically, he's 24. He's going to turn 25 in a few days here, but he is great at coming down and stopping the run, just like Reed. And the Jets' run defense was pitiful last year and they couldn't tackle. So that is a two guys that are going to massively improve that. He's good in zone. Now, not really that great in, in man coverage, which is okay. 
The Jets tend to run more zone anyway. Um, so he's really, you know, someone who could like come down and make a big play, lay a big hit. Uh, he kind of he runs around like his hair's on fire. I love it. You got to love the energy that he plays with. And every Buccaneers fan that, you know, I, I've seen feels the same way. He, he just has an energy when he's out there on the field that they love. 292 yards, two touchdowns, two interceptions last year, a 68-8 reception percentage allowed. In addition to playing free safety, he also played in the box and the slot as well. He's a versatile piece. You can kind of move him all around your defense. And to me, this also hints, because you brought back LaMarcus Joyner, and supposedly, as of recording this, Marcus May is not out of the conversation yet, which is really surprising. I would have thought that bridge was burned from his agent and just everything that's happened in the last year with Marcus May. But if Marcus May comes back, then, I mean, you could just throw the idea of drafting a safety completely out the window, especially high. But even right now, I don't think they're spending a first round pick on safety. I guess I could be proven wrong, but I think the stars seem to be aligning for a safety at pick 35, whether it's Lewis seen Daxton Hill, Jaquan Brisker, someone like that to pair with um, Jordan Whitehead and the Marcus Joyner, you know, rotating in or even being like a spot starter and injuries happen. And it's important to have three safeties that you trust. Cause we don't trust Ashton Davis. We can tell you that much, but um, I, I like this signing a lot. And I think, like I said, it, it kind of points to, to that direction. Again, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe they do take Kyle Hamilton, even if he's if he's there at 4 or 10. Um, but just overall today, two really good additions to this defense. We know how bad the Jets' defense was last year. Worst in football. And they took a massive stride in getting better today. And I thought it was two really good value deals from Joe Douglas. So I like the move so far through two days. Obviously, I think we're going to see some more depth stuff, but this is probably it on the big stuff. Um, let me know what you guys think. Sound off in the comments below or on social media at Matt O'Leary NY. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Once again, I'm Matt O'Leary. And I'll talk to you next time.